Hi, I'm John Ruther, owner of North Star Motorsports in Barrington, Illinois. At North Star, we are the original racing resource, where we've been selling racing safety equipment for 22 years, and I've been racing myself for over 40 years. So we know a thing or two about safety equipment, what works and what doesn't work. Today, I'd like to go over uh, the features of two really great racing harnesses made by the Italian company Sawbelt. Um, Sawbelt has probably been known mostly for their harnesses, but now they make a full line of safety equipment including suits, shoes, gloves, Nomex underwear, and they make several wonderful racing seats. I'll go over the seats in a separate video, but today I wanted, I thought I'd put the seat, the uh, belts on the uh, seat just so I could demonstrate how they work and some of the features on them. Uh, the first belt I'd like to talk about as part of the new uh, 2016 FIA standard for racing harnesses, um, most of the manufacturers have gone to what they call a two by two configuration, whereas the shoulder belts from where it attaches to the roll cage all the way down to the cam lock is two inches wide. That's to facilitate the use with a head and neck uh, restraint device uh, because at the top where the belt goes over the top of the, uh, the device, there's a slot that's only two inches wide. So these tend to work way better than a three inch shoulder belt uh, would work. Um, this harness is a two by two, their standard configuration. The adjusters on this harness are uh, steel. Um, the belts themselves are made out of polyester, which is pretty much what's required as far as FIA certification. These belts are good for five years uh, in a racing environment. Uh, in an HPDE uh, situation, most organizations don't even check the expiration on them, so you could probably use them for significantly longer than that. Um, the belts, um, again, part of the new FIA certification, the ends on the, on the lap belt have to be stitched into the belt. So on this belt, this, they, this is in the configuration of what they call pull-up adjustment. So to tighten the belt, you would grab this end and pull it up. Um, this would be the, uh, the snap-in end, which would, which would uh, attach to the uh, eye bolt in the car. Uh, again, they do put these tabs on um, with their logo on it, which would facilitate uh, releasing the pressure and the tension on the adjuster. So you can simply pull up like this, and the belt will release. Um, so that's where the lap belts are. Again, that end is stitched into the lap belt. Uh, the cam lock is an aluminum uh, cam lock that has a, sim a single lever to the bottom. You can simply turn the belt either direction, 90 degrees, and it pops all the belts loose. This belt um, is configured so that the cam lock is permanently attached to the submarine belt. I really like that feature because when you're uh, getting the car, the submarine belt, because it's got the cam lock on it, has something heavy on the end of that belt and it'll stay over the front edge of the seats. Otherwise, that belt invariably is going to be on the bottom of the seat when you get in and you're, you're trying to find the end of it. So this way, the belt stays over the front edge of the seat. You get in, you just grab the cam lock, plug the, the laps and the shoulder belts into it, and you're good to go. Um, this belt is $295 currently, um, and I think it's a terrific price point for uh, for a, an, essentially an entry-level top-line six-point harness. The, an equivalent belt from the Schroten manufacturer in Germany uh, probably runs at least $50 higher than this belt, uh, and that's for their entry-level belt as well. So I really like this belt a great deal. It's The adjusters work very well. Uh, the cam lock is, is a terrific device, and um, their, their belt material has always been top-notch, and I think it's a great belt for uh, less than $300. Uh, the next belt I'd like to talk about is their top of the line. This is called an enduro belt. And you say, well, what's enduro have to do with, um, with racing harnesses? Usually in enduros or uh, endurance racing in general, there are driver changes. And in a driver change situation, you want to make it real easy for the driver getting out of the car to release the belts and for the driver getting into the car to buckle up and get ready to go. So what they've done on this belt, first of all, it's got absolutely top of the line everything on it. The adjusters are all made out of aluminum. They weigh, they're almost weightless. They weigh almost nothing. 
and they have a really good uh, ratchet system on it so that there are teeth that actually grab the belt. Once you snug this belt, it's not going to get loose on you. A lot of times in a, a lesser expensive belt system, you know, you're always having to tighten your shoulder belts as you're going down the long straights and that's just not much fun. You need to be concentrating on where you're going, not tightening your belts. Um, so this one's got aluminum adjusters on the shoulder belts. Um, the submarine belt just attaches with a, an eye bolt system into the floor pan. The lap belts is a very interesting deal. Because of the new FIA rule that requires the end of the belt be stitched uh, onto the belt, they've provided two sets of lap belts with this configuration. One, this one I'm, that I have on the belt is a pull-down adjustment. It has these black pull-down adjusters, so you simply take this and pull it uh, down to tighten the belt. Again, it's got the teeth on the back side to keep the belt from loosening, and on the end of all of their belts, they have these yellow tabs stitched to them so you can grab it with a glove on and tighten the belt or uh, grab the fastener and, and loosen them if you need to. Um, so it has those tabs on both the, the shoulder belts as well as the lap belts. Again, full two-inch uh, construction. A lot of people have asked me, are two-inch belts as strong as a three-inch belt? Strength is not an issue. The belt is plenty strong and actually they're much safer because, especially on a lap belt, the two-inch wide lap belt will fit into this. There's a little um, a little depression in your in your hip bone in your in your pelvis called the iliac crest, and the belt will actually sit sit in there. If you have a three inch wide lap belt, it's wider than that depression in your in your hip bone, so it tends to slide above it, and then you end up with the lap belt over your abdomen, which is not a good thing. So these belts um, come with, as I said, this comes with the, the two inch uh, lap belt. Uh, in the pull-down configuration. It also comes with another lap belt that is pull-up configuration. Um, they've also attached some Velcro patches on both sides of the, of the shoulder belt so you can attach the loose end of the belt to the Velcro so every time you stand on the brakes you're not looking at the, the, these loose end of the belts you know, floating in space because you've got the brakes on. Um, one other nice feature is they've, they've put their logo and on this, that's kind of a, a um, it's almost a vinyl kind of a material on the back side of the belt to be more comfortable and also it fits better on your head and neck restraint and provides the right amount of friction against the, the yoke on the, um, the head and neck restraint. That's another nice feature. They've also got a piece of material on the edge of the logo on the belt which is designed so that you can run your communications uh, wires coming out of your radio system and or your drink system tube right, al right along there. So again, they're not flopping around inside the race car. So they've, they've really thought about all of the features they put on it. Again, both of these belts have a dual submarine belt system. Um, and I think this is one of the finest belts I know of anywhere. I would, if I had a race car at the moment, I would have this belt in it guaranteed. It's that good. Um, so I think these belts really hit, uh, as far as I'm concerned, they've hit home run with both of them. Uh, this belt is priced just a little over $500. And, um, you know, as a comparison, uh, as an enduro belt from the Schrott Company, which is a German made belt, terrific belt, I might add, is almost $100 more. So they're both terrific belts. This one happens to, uh, to be priced very, very competitively, and I like these belts a, a lot. So uh, that's the story on the saw belt harnesses that we're proud to carry at North Star Motorsports. Again, I'm John Ruther. I'm the owner at North Star. Um, give me a call if you'd like to talk more about these belts. Um, our phone number is 800-356-2080, and if you're in the Barrington area, I'd love to show you these belts personally. Stop into our store and I can show you what they're all about. Um, as well, you could go to our website, uh, northstarmotorsports.com, and uh, we have a complete catalog of all of our products on our website. So thanks so much for watching.